welcome back to the vlog. Um, it's been a while. Um, but yeah, I think I've just been focusing on peak week for my second show. And also, it's Thursday today. Um, and obviously my, my show was on Sunday. Um, and I think I've just been so overwhelmed since. Like, I can't even explain how overwhelmed I've been. <laughs> um, I'm still processing it. What happened on Sunday? Um, I've been literally on cloud nine. <laughs> so happy with how Sunday went. Um, but yeah, also focusing on my second show. And I'm really happy with how this peak week has gone. Um, especially considering it, it's back to back peaks. You know, Sunday was such a long day. I was up at 6 a.m. for my tan and I didn't get home until about 11 p.m. Um, just because of being in the overall. Um, I didn't get, I was on stage at two and then the overall I was on stage at seven. So it was a really long day with like very little food, very little water. And obviously that all plays a part in how your physique looks over the coming days after. Um, I was also so tired. I didn't sleep um, much the night before the show. And after the show, I was awake till 4 a.m. Um, just because of the adrenaline. And I was just lying in bed looking at all the videos and the pictures and just being like, what just happened um, and I was up at seven so I had three hours sleep on Sunday night so I've spent the most of the week feeling absolutely sh like shit so like a bag of dicks just really tired and obviously being back on low food and stuff um so yeah it's been a hard week um but yeah luckily it's Thursday I woke up checked in um and we're on track to be looking my best for Saturday so I am happy um, we have been running zero carb, zero fat food all week, yeah. um, but I think we're putting a little bit of carbs in today. Um, so I'll show you guys what I'm eating, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. This week's been much quieter than last week because last week I had all my appointments, but obviously it was for um, my wax, my hair, stuff like that, which was for both shows. So, you know, I've still got my nails done, I've still got my eyebrows done, um, and yeah, there isn't very many appointments, but I am getting a wash or blow dry today because this is just an absolute state. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going for a walk now, it's like 9 a.m. I've just been lying in bed. Um, uh, I did my check-in and everything. Um, and yeah, I have a low step count today, I think 10,000. I've been doing between 13 and 15 every day. No cardio or anything, still training as normal. Um, but yeah, I've got steps to do today and my last upper pump session. Um, so yeah, I'll probably take you guys through um, and show you what I get up to. But yeah, I'll show you whatever food I have today. Um, and we'll just go from there. But yeah, I'm gonna do my walk now. Okay, I'm back from my walk. Um, and the order of business today is um, 100 grams of carbs. So nothing crazy. I've got the goods here. So I'm gonna have three of these with three meals, um, the three meals leading up to me training. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my first meal. Um, it's not very exciting, <laughs> but I'll show you my first meal. So how stunning are these? Um, a girl that used to come to my spin classes when I used to be a spin instructor sent them to me. Um, and she sent me this really lovely card as well. So nice. I've got a couple of cards. Um, you and Ebony got me a really nice card um, and a Costa gift card and a little Lucky Charm bracelet um, and Christy's parents got me a card and stuff so yeah really nice um, and I've actually got my basket here from show day which Hannah brought me I'll show you. Um, so I've put my medal in here um, so yeah I think I showed this in the show day vlog but yeah nothing is touched the caramel is still in here. I had two squares of this um, after the show and then I told Christy's brother he could have some and I'm assuming he's fucking eating the whole lot so that's great um, but it doesn't matter um, but yeah I had two squares with an almond milk latte and a toasted sandwich from Costa at the services um, and it is nice so yeah um, I'm gonna save these for Saturday I think and I'm gonna keep the monster or the ghosts for next week so yeah Meal one 250 egg whites, some green beans, and one whole egg. 
Right, this is my next meal. Um, it's just 200 grams of chicken with lettuce um, and a tiny bit of uh, barbecue sauce. And then I've got three of the rice cakes. Okay, this is my third meal. So I have 40 grams of uh, cream of rice. I'll show you in a second which one I'm using because it's unreal. Um, and I've just got salt and cinnamon on there. And then I've got chicken again and green beans. Um, I'll show you the cream of rice. You can actually probably see that the tub is nearly empty, but we're using the um, Gas Mark 10, so Rob Taylor's brand. Um, and it's the white chocolate biscuit flavor. And oh, it's just so good. If you haven't used it, you need to. Um, this is the supplement stack <laughs> and there's loads in there as well but yeah that's what we're using okay so not that you can tell because i've put it in a ponytail i mean you can tell because before this it looked awful but i've just pulled up at the gym um i'm at arnold's and i'm just about to go and do my last session before the show on saturday um it is an upper body full upper body um, just like a pump session, literally just to get some, um, the muscles moving and working, getting some blood flow and yeah, just get a pump on basically. Mm, even though getting a pump is quite hard when you're on zero carb, but I have had a little bit of carbs today to be fair. Um, I didn't show you my, was it my third, one, two, three, my fourth meal, but it was exactly the same as my second meal. So it was chicken and three rice cakes. I didn't show it because I was in the salon and um, having my hair blow dried whilst I was eating. So I didn't want to get my camera out. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I did my final shower, exfoliation, moisturizing, shaved my legs. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so yeah, I better go in and get this session done. I also need to, I've got my bikini and my heels, so I need to practice my routine, I need to practice posing and do a little check-in with Christy because all, all of my carbs are in now for the day, which is 100 grams. Um, and I've nearly finished all my water. I'm drinking six liters a day. Um, so I have a liter in the morning on my walk in a separate bottle, and this is four. Um, and then I have a litre spread between Support Max Neuro in the morning and my pump, which I've just um, had like 10, 15 minutes ago. Um, I use the Vasky Max from Strom Sports. So that's another litre. So once this is finished, this will be six. Um, and there's mm, like 1.2 litres left. So I will easily finish that in my session. Um, and then I'll just sip for the rest of the evening. So yeah, pretty much everything is done. When I get back home, I'm going to show you um, what's in my bag for show day because I didn't show you guys what I packed last time because I was in a big fucking black hole last week of nerves. Um, and although I am nervous for this week, I would argue a little bit more nervous for this show than I was last week, surprisingly. Um, I am more mentally present and able to function. So I'm going to show you what I've packed in my show day case um and i'll also show you my last two meals they are zero carb um i mean they are for now um christy might look at me and say i need more but i don't think so i think it will just be zero carb so but i'll show you them anyway um because i competed on sunday and i loved being on stage so much i'm like dying to get on stage again i'm dying for the glow up to put my bikini on i'll be in the blue this time and yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited. I think I just feel nervous because my family is coming and I just want to make everybody proud. Um, it'll be completely different, completely different federation. It's an open class. It's not a first time or show. So I'll be competing against experienced competitors. It's a whole different ball game. And I think that's why I'm nervous because it's an open class and I am still a first timer. I mean, I've done a show, <laughs> but it's only my second ever show. My first show was only a few days ago. So I am still a new competitor. Um, but this is exactly what I wanted this year. I wanted to get stage experience and um, I've been so excited for this FitEx show because I love the Federation. I've been to a lot of FitEx shows to watch and um, yeah, I just, I really love the Fed and um, the posing is completely different. It's more NPC posing, which I want to get experienced in because next year I'm hoping to do some shows within the NPC. So um, but I'll talk about my goals for next year a, a little bit later, but yeah, Christy's already in the gym, so I'd better get my arse and gear and go in. Um, 
and do my pump session so yeah i don't know if i'll film any of it but i'll bring my camera anyway and i might show you guys um my posing practice and um, because obviously like i said the posing is different for the show um excuse me some of the poses are the same but your mandatories are different they are um ifbb mpc mandatories <laughs> Sick. Sick. That's it. All right, I'm just going to quickly show you my next meal. It's 325 grams of egg whites and some green beans. So I'm going to eat this and then I'll show you what's in my bags for show day. I'm not going to unpack it, unpack them because they're neatly packed, but I'm going to give you like a run through of what I've packed and my show day packing list. Um, just because I think I've been really organized. I was so organized for the first show um, and I had everything I needed in every bag. Everything was easy to find. Um, so some people might find it helpful. So I'll show, but at the moment, this is what it looks like. Um, it does look like a bit of a mess, but that's what I was wearing to train in. Um, but it's all in here. So I will show it all, but I'm gonna eat this first. Right, everybody knows that I love not showing what my last meal was and I forgot to show what my last meal was, so I'm really sorry. It was 0% um, fat Greek yogurt, frozen blueberries and some powdered fake peanut butter. But I'm gonna show you what's in my show day bag. Suitcase, luggage. This is everything that's in my bag. Um, I don't really want to take anything like major out, but I'm just going to run you through the basic stuff, okay? So I've got my makeup bag in here. It's full of like mini stuff. So I've got a like spare toothbrush, a little mini hairspray, clear nail varnish remover, and then just like I've bought um, all of my basic makeup, like bronzer, powder, um, foundation, and then like lipsticks and stuff in here. Um, but I bought all of these in a shade darker, so they actually match my tan. So if I need to top up my makeup at any point, I can. Um, and there's also just like spare hair clips and hair ties in here. So yeah, it's just really basic stuff um, that you might need on the day backstage. Um, and then in here, I've got all my show day jewelry. So my earrings, bracelet, rings. This is my bands for pumping up. Um, and then my show day shoes are in here. So that's the main part. Um, and then all like the little fiddly bits are in here. So um, in here I've got a shaker, which already has pump in it um, for pumping up backstage. In here I've got a little fan. Um, this is just while you're pumping up and stuff in case you get hot. It's actually so good. <laughs> um, I got this on Amazon and it was really cheap, but yeah, that's that. And then if I open this little zippy, um, so I've got Gorilla Glue. This is in case um, you need to like fix a strap on your bikini or anything like that. So I've got this um, and then Bikini Bite 
for securing yourself into your bikini. Um, and then I've got salt. Um, this is for my meals um, and for my pump uh, formula backstage. So um, I salt everything on show day. So I have one in my bag. And then these are for backstage as well and just for show day in general. Um, these are little mini jam pots. I had these, I got them from, well, I bought some from Starbucks on show day on Sunday and they were a godsend because they're obviously already weighed out. These are like 28 grams in each jar. Um, and that's what I pumped up with. Uh, that's not what I pumped up with. That's what mm -hmm. I carved up with. <laughs> um, so that's what's in here. And then if I open this little section here. There's some more like essential bits in here. Um, so oh, this is actually um, a gift that Ewan and Ebony got me. Um, and like it's a little um, lucky bracelet and it says, uh, close your eyes and make a wish and tie your bracelet on your wrist. When your bracelet wears away, your wish will be on its way. And I've just packed it for good luck for my next show. Um, I thought it was really sweet, so I wanna keep that with me. Um, this is spare pump because um, just in case I need another um, pump because on show day last week I only had one and luckily Liam was there and he gave me some for the overall so yeah and then I've got this little portable scale which is the best I just wanted to show it so it folds out like that and I honestly think this is the best thing ever so if you're traveling not just for a show obviously for anything in general you can literally just put that in your handbag so if people are like oh I was on the go and I couldn't weigh my food you can literally put this in your pocket um, so yeah, I've got um, and then I've also got um, this is a sewing kit again in case um, I need to fix anything with my bikini. Um, and then oh, these are just like grips for the sole of your shoe um, in case your foot slips, <laughs> or sorry, in case your heels are slippy. Um, I didn't need those on Sunday, but I'm still packing them just in case I do. And then this is like um, a little emergency kit. I've just got migraine tablets, blister, plasters, and then just like mini toothbrushes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in here. The only thing that needs to go in is these um, for carving up. So they're gonna go in that bit in there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the main things that are in this suitcase. And then I've got two bags over there, which I'm gonna show you. And um, this is also going in here um, because um, on Sunday I was having rice cakes with nut butter and salt um so i'm just keeping this in here because it'll be with me on the day so yeah that's everything okay, so this is my other suitcase so this is all the stuff so that suitcase is for the things that i need with me on show day and then this is also for going away for show day but bits that i'll need outside of the actual day so that bag comes with me backstage and everything and it's with me all day this will stay in the airbnb so in here, um, it's just my normal toiletries, but I've got um, the Coco Brown Tan Remover from Compaq, which I used in between the two shows, and it's been amazing. So I'm bringing that with me to have a shower on Sunday morning. Um, so yeah, and then my usual stuff. And then in here, I've got like face cloths because you can't have any like products on your face when you get your tan done, but obviously I'll need to wash my face. So I just wash my face with water in one of these. So they're really handy. I've got loads of baggy joggers. This is shower gel that doesn't um, cause any like irritation. It's for sensitive skin and you can use this before your tan. Black towels. And then underneath, I've also got black sheets and black pillowcases. So this is for your tan. Um, and if you want to shower with the tan, um, and then the black sheets are for the bedding in the Airbnb so they don't give us a bad review. Um, and then in here I've got um, a shower cap. This is for tanning so that my hair stays clean. Flip flops for um, getting my tan. I've got nail varnish remover just in case there's any tan on my nails, I can get it off. And then a hair straightener so I can touch up my hair. And then in here I've got um, a travel pillow because it's a long drive and I plan to sleep. And then in my main bag, um, I have spare heels and my check-in bikini. So this will be for check-ins throughout the day. This bag also comes with me on show day and has all the bits that I don't need backstage. In here, I've got all my charger ports. Um, so there's a portable charger for my phone, portable charger and spare batteries for my camera. Um, and also my iPhone charger and everything's gonna go in here. All my bank cards and everything's in there. I've also got the essential flavor drops. Um, and then I'll just put my meals for the day in here as well. 
Um, and that is pretty much everything. I just need to pack up like last bits, so like my sliders and um, a couple of other bits that just aren't in the bag yet, like my toothbrush and stuff. But aside from that, I'm pretty organised, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> so we're pretty much packed. That is everything. Tomorrow we head up to Northampton and we're going to be leaving in the morning. My tan is at half four. So yeah, I got all my times for my makeup, tan and hair for Saturday through earlier. So yeah, I'm really nervous for the show, really nervous. I'm just going in with like no expectations. This is my first season competing. I'm still very new to this and yeah, I just want to enjoy the day um, and have a good time. And I am proud of myself regardless of what happens. So. Yeah, I'm just going to go there and have a good day. Um, and yeah, and after the show, I get to go out for a meal with my whole family, which I'm so, so excited about. And so, yeah, whatever happens on show day, I'll still be happy. And yeah, it's been um, an unbelievable week so far. Um, so yeah, I've got lots to celebrate with my family when they get here. Um, and they're really excited to see me and obviously I haven't seen them since November so them coming is like it just means everything to me so I just can't wait to spend time with them um, I'm also just really excited to do the show because I love FitX and I love the FitX shows um, and it's going to be a really good experience for me Christy are you excited? Yeah Are you nervous? I can't wait Nope <laughs> <laughs> He keeps telling me not to be nervous but I'm nervous So yeah I'm going to end this vlog here um, and I'll pick up the camera tomorrow to get another show day vlog done because me and Christy have just watched my show day vlog, didn't we? Yep. And it was amazing to watch back and I'm not going to lie, watching it, it's like the whole day was, when I try and think of the day, it's like such a blur because of how hectic it is and how fast paced everything happens. Um, and because of like the adrenaline and stuff, when you look back on it, it's almost like it's all blurry already and it's not even been a week. So I'm so glad that I recorded it because when I watched it, it just brought everything back and it's so nice to have. So I am going to vlog again on Saturday. Um, and yeah, I'll hopefully get that vlog out next week. Um, and then yeah, that'll be it for this prep. I mean, until finals. <laughs> you guys enjoyed today's vlog um as always thank you for watching if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and drop a comment below if you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one